everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number 9, and we're going up against an alliance called Grand Rapids. Every time I hear that, I always think of Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Used to listen to a radio show, and at the end of the show, they would always give you their address, and they were in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I used to hear it over and over again. All right, but anyway, we're going in uh, with Nick Fury, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Corvus. And as I told you, I usually bring Corvus when I think I can get some charges for him. Uh, but this first fight is going to be against Mephisto. Now, I could probably do this fight with any of the champions that I have, but Black Widow, Clairvoyant can become incinerate immune. So she's a really good option. Just do two combos and uh, with a light attack and you're golden. You don't have to worry about his aura or anything like that. All right. So, of course, immediately I go into the poison curse of plague uh, so that I can get rid of the poison on me since I run suicides. And then I quickly did another light ending combo. Now I'm in her incinerate phase which is also her damage phase, but I don't have to worry now about any of his incinerate damage, not from his special one in case I get clipped by it, uh, or his aura. All right, so uh, we're doing just fine. Love Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, no regrets, zero regrets taking her to rank three. Uh, love it. She is so useful. And uh, you will see her more uh, often in Alliance War. She has become uh, part of my main team unless I really need a specific counter and I don't have any room uh, for her. But we did good and we'll try to bring her uh, every chance we get. Now, this next fight made me a little concerned. First of all, they have chosen the stubborn defense tactic and Mole Man is actually a stubborn defender. He is actually pretty tricky. All right, so you see I intercepted him, right? But you'll notice that my bleed are being um, purified. The, the first bleed was purified, then the next bleed was purified. Look at this, I can't seem to keep bleeds on him. He's actually uh, a very tricky one. And you notice how he purified my stun as well, so I can't trust the bleeds i can't trust parrying and if you hit into him while he's blocking he will really be mad he'll go unstoppable and wreck you and i've had that happen and look at that now i don't know what happened there i was evading and i think what happened is i forgot about that last part you know, where he fires off the uh, um, his little uh, shock on the ground. And so I'm evading, evading, and then it came, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. And it was just too late. But this is also why I like bringing Nick Fury. I can make a mistake like that, and I'm still good. But the real Nick Fury is out now. All right? So, yeah, Mole Man, legit tricky. You see, I'm just sitting here for a little bit, trying to catch my breath. It was like, whew. You know, that could have been ugly. If it had been someone else, that would have been it. Because this node, they just build up those Furies as the fight goes on. And so you saw how much damage it did. It, it took him all the way out. Okay. So now I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the nodes and I'm like, okay, he's not cleared. He's linked up both ways. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's see what we got. Okay. So right now, I'm just waiting out the arc overload, okay? That's all I was doing there. All right, now, boom, get rid of the indestructible and go in. Medium, light, mediums, did a little intercept. Medium, light, medium, just parrying, get those armor breaks on him. And I'm like, yeah, we're gonna try to get to that special two before arc overload hits again. Boom, final, and he's done. Didn't matter that he was linked up and we've got our tech charge all good okay so you you can say i was feeling myself i was like yeah 
you know, took him down, uh, linked up so that I could move and uh, use up my energy and go do some other stuff I had to get done. So now uh, we are into section two and I take path two there as well. That path, it's it can be tricky. I tend to ignore the node, but that does sometimes bite me in the butt. Depends. All right, so Emma Frost, you already know. When I saw Emma Frost, that was one of the reasons I said, oh, I'm bringing Corvus. Uh, very, very easy fight with Corvus because he can armor break her while she's in her diamond form and take her out of her diamond form. So absolutely going to use Corvus. The other thing is that, you know, as the counters go down to zero, you're going to be suppressed in your power. So Corvus does, as you see, this damage. And so I don't really care that I won't be able to get to a special two. We're just going to take her out. All right. And now we have a mutant charge. So Corvus is just getting better and better as time goes on. Now, anytime I see Hyperion, I'm like, yeah, Nick Fury. However, because I messed up against Mole Man, now I'm concerned. So I used an invulnerability boost, which I normally don't have to worry about because, of course, Nick Fury can tank one, possibly two, of Hyperion Special 3s. But usually he's dead before a second one. But now I'm not sure because the real Nick Fury is out. So you see I'm degening down to 30%. And if he starts folding his arms and not worrying about nothing, he would wreck me. And I, here we were at the end. And even though I had the invulnerability boost, I fired off the special one just to finish him off because I saw we were so close. Um, but I could have just let him fire the special three take it had the invulnerability boost up so you know we would have survived it just fine all right so now we got one link on this killmonger and corvus is great for fighting killmonger all right so you got this recovery healing and regeneration is increased right and you have buffet so i'm like oh boy i think i got this i know i got a plan going in here my plan is to basically do as much damage, ignore the node, the counter strike uh, fury, I uh, mean power. Don't worry about that. Just go in and uh, take him out. Now, using these boosts, I, it's a waste. Uh, not the, the special, but generally it's a waste if you're going to ignore the node. And I've gotten power locked here. And I'm just like, you know what? Let's just go in. All right. So you see, I'm just doing parry, medium, light, medium. And I'm looking at my charges and I'm looking at, you know, his health. And I'm like, okay, I think I can do this. This should be fine. Everything is working out great. You notice uh, now I messed up. This is uh, part one of where I messed up. All right. I'm not supposed to evade. When I evaded, I get the buff and he got a regen okay so i evaded there okay there i didn't but i already messed up once okay i've got six charges left now and i'm just like oh my goodness now what am i gonna do okay and here i'm like okay now i'm out of charges all right so now here's a problem and then i did that okay so watch this here all right, so I got hit and I'm just like, you know what? Let's just go down. And here's what I was thinking there. So every time I evade, he's gonna heal. And I was out of charges. What are the chances that I'm gonna survive without healing him back up until I get those charges back? Not good, not good at all. Uh, my plan was to get him down before I ran out of charges. But because I did that evade combined with the link that gave him even more health when I evaded, you know, it, it beefed up the buffet. He healed so much up that I was no longer able to take him out with uh, the strategy that I was using. 
Might have been able to do it with a parry light, parry light. Um, but yeah, it, it would not have been a, a very easy or quick fight. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to take that L and that way I can go back in because you know I was not going to let it lay, uh, stay that way, right? Um, I was like, okay, I messed up, but I'm getting him down. You know, I had some other things I needed to do, um, but now it was a matter of honor. There's no way I was going to let this go like that. Mm -mm. Um, but I could have done it, but I messed up, gave him all that health back, and then didn't have enough uh, charges to take him out. And you'll notice that those um, boosts, the cosmic boosts, they haven't come into play at all. All right. So you saw that I used another invulnerability just in case. Um, I believe that invulnerabilities were in the store, so I knew I was going to be able to um, cap out on them once again. All right. So here we go. And this time I'm going to try my best not to um, evade at all, which is hard. All right. But we got him down pretty quick and easy. All right. But yeah, I was mad at that death. I sure was, uh, because it was avoidable, especially if you're going to take somebody noted and then you die. I did well on the first one, so I was no longer feeling myself. That was uh, humbling. Let me tell you. All right, so for the final fights, this is an excerpt from my live stream. So if you were there on my live stream, you saw this live. Uh, but here it is for people who may not have seen it during the live stream lost this one but we do want to get uh folks down oh my goodness why are folks still up oh my lord what I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing, uh, deaths don't matter. We just need to get them out. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do as much as I can, but, um, there's a reason I didn't just run to take these fights. I don't think I have good options, uh, for them. Just need him down. Okay. Whoops. Hey, who got in there? All right. Let's do it. Uh, YOLO, what's up, man? How you doing? That pretty much went kind of how I figured it would. Right. Uh, 
Uh, Shadow, does uh, Professor X need to be awakened? I don't think so. And only Gamora was a new exclusive, so it was not too exciting. Yeah, I have like all of them, uh, but three. Gamora, um, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Apocalypse. Y'all see how it's bugged, right? It doesn't look like anybody's in there, but I can't go. It's the kind of thing that happens. Yeah, also, Big Blue stepping in here with that huge roster. What's up, Big Blue? Yeah, we down to the wire. We'll, we'll, we'll do what we can. We do what we can because we must. Oh, there it is. Now we got a timer. Now, I, did you guys see that? Because I'm not sure. It looked like I got him down because when I went in there, uh, his health was at, at full, I thought, or or a little bit hurt. I don't know. Yeah, see, it's still half. Um, hmm. All right. Let's uh, see what we can do. Knew he was waiting for me to do that. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. He wouldn't fight. Y'all saw that, right? He wouldn't attack me. Because I was going to take him out. He wouldn't attack me. What could I do, man? He would not attack. He kept back, and I knew when I hit into him, he was just going to go unstoppable and, and, and fire it off. But wasn't much I could do there. I'm like, come on, attack, attack. I was letting hit, like, if he would do that, that would have been okay. Thank you. Good night. Because I was waiting. Corvus could have definitely taken him out. Something. There we go. Um, thank you, Big Blue. There's the uh, roster reveal Big Blue just posted up. And you'll also be able to subscribe if you wanted to. Um, still looking here. Three minutes left. Uh, S, what's up, man? How you doing? Svil. <laughs> what's going on, man? Um, but that's awesome. Five Star Warlock. I still love my Five Star Warlock. Yeah, that, that. Oh, he got him. There we go. Good work, good work, everybody. All right, so now for a short intermission, and we'll be back, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war, but we did get all three of the bosses down. Uh, that is mandatory, getting those bosses down however we can, whether we win or lose. Got to get those bosses down. Uh, I believe we're going to most likely end up in Platinum 4. Uh, but I'll let the uh, number crunchers uh, check it out and see whether uh, there's even a chance to go for Platinum 3. If there is a chance, then they'll ask us to you know, make that push and try to boost and be careful about our fights. If there's no chance, uh, you may see us start doing uh, just some boss rushes uh, so that we can end. Uh, nice and easy without using a lot of uh, items. All right, so that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Uh, take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.